But why would I want to do that and, and ruin, well, you, you know. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today has been a filming frenzy because I only worked three quarters of a day today. It is Saturday. I hope you guys, you guys? I hope you guys are having an amazing weekend and doing something super fun. I am all glammed up to go absolutely nowhere. But that's okay. Because I have here in Ulta Hall, a little baby in store shopping trip. And I also got something from Nordstrom Rack, so I just figured I would share this all with you guys because I need to get these boxes, like, out of my way because they're stacked up in a corner, along with some other ones. And, yeah, we're going to do that. If you're new here, hi, I'm not as kooky as, like, I probably sound right now, but this is all just about having fun and sharing our love of makeup, and if you like me enough to stick around, I hope you will. So I have this super hard time resisting when Ulta, ouch, hold on one second, <laughs> sends me these emails that are five times points, seven times points, you know, ridiculous deals off of lots of good things, and so, you know, I gotta do what I gotta do. Anyway, let's start with the first thing that I ordered. I wanted to try again the Ordinary Caffeine Solution. This is the 5% EGCG. I am finishing up my Good Molecules eye serum, and I want to try this one again. I tried it in the past, but I don't think I used it consistently enough. These serums and, and eye creams and things like this are stuff you have to use consistently for you to really see a difference. And I was using too many products at the time, so I couldn't say whether or not this worked. I do enjoy the Ordinary products. They have good ingredients. This is a serum. It's a rather thicker serum. It does not have a scent. And anything to help my under eyes, you know I'm going to do. It absorbs extremely quickly. It's slightly tacky, but not sticky. I will use it for a while, and I'll give you my thoughts once again in probably about a month. And the good thing, this is probably around $7, I believe. They're having lots of gifts with purchases, so I have been wanting to try the Cover FX Power Play concealer anyway, and they had a gift with purchase if you did spend, I believe, $30. I'm not quite sure. I bought this in the color N Light 2. I'm hoping that it's a good shade for me. I like the packaging. It's rather cute. It seems rather small, but it's a wide box. So now you are getting .35. I think just the different shape of the bottles. It... Okay. That has to be the oddest shaped applicator I've ever seen in my entire life. Unfortunately, I won't say what this looks like. We, we won't go there. This may be too a bit too yellow, and I did buy neutral. So I'm concerned about that. I can always make it work. It seems quite thick, but that's the coverage. There you go. It's a little bit better. The, my ring light is washing it out. Okay, I'm very curious to try this and I'll be letting you know. I'll try it tomorrow. So, where's the gift that I got for this? Okay, so this is the gift you got. It's very, very tiny. They always make things look much larger, but that's all right. So this is the Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder. I now have three of these little guys. I may just combine them into a larger jar because I just finished up a powder. And I may do that because it's very hard to get your brush in here, but I do like this powder, so having three of them, I'll have like a full size. Look at that. If I get lipstick on my teeth throughout this video, kindly ignore it. Thank you. Okay, so we got a little baby of the Custom Enhancer Drops. This one is in Moonlight. I don't believe I have this one. No, I don't. I have like three of them, but I don't have Moonlight. It's a cute little jar, and honestly, I wish they all came in this size jar because this is all you need. You don't need those giant jars for $44. This is quite beautiful. And even though I have highlight on, methinks I wanted to try this. Whether or not this will be a total disaster on top of powder will remain to be seen. But as I said, I'm not going anywhere. Oh, 
that's really really beautiful I would probably blend it with a beauty blender um, or a beauty sponge rather but I like those and I said I would be totally happy if they actually sold them this size the last thing that I did get was the cover FX water cloud primer I haven't tried this one before a universal primer with pollution defense all right let's see this is a decent size and the tube is full it has a slightly blue green tinge to it it wow it really blurred my hand you're not going to be able to see it but I can certainly see it in person it is silicone based primer but not as silicone as say the Smashbox original primer I'm gonna be very excited to give that a go I love primers whether or not they actually do anything, I don't know, but it's just a process and a step that I enjoy. And when I forget my primer and I go out through a day, you, you think like I forgot my phone at home or something. So that was just, that little gift was just for buying this. You know, I bought some other things and I don't know where they are. And I just don't know where they are right now. But I needed a new toner because I'm running out of my Strivectin. I love the Strivectin, but I was looking for something slightly cheaper because that one is about $40 or so. And I saw the Derma E Essentials Radiance Toner. It is the glycolic and rooibos. Uh, that's a word I, I don't know. But this d had decent ingredients, and I figured I would give it a go and see how I like it. I do like a lot of Derma E products, so I was happy about that. I know I ordered more of this and I'm missing stuff and I'm probably going to remember after I stop filming. I needed one of these. This, not that I go anywhere, but this is the Real Techniques sponge holder. I can't believe it took them so long to come out with one of these. Now here's the thing. I just noticed that this doesn't have any holes in it. If it's a travel case and it's wet, you want it to dry and be protected, so why would you want a case that doesn't have holes in it? I didn't realize that when I bought it. I don't go anywhere, but I just like to keep them dust-free and things like that because I do keep them out on my little vanity that I have. So, alright, um, oh, you know what? Maybe, 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 hold on. Maybe these little RTs are holes. Yes, the little RTs, the little real techniques are holes. Okay, that was good. Because I'm saying, what were they thinking? You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm totally missing stuff. I did get two more free gifts. And that's why I'm saying, I know that I spent probably about $70. Because, and I bought more. And, yeah. So these were two free gifts. This is the Clinique, their high impact mascara. I really love this mascara. And what else did I get here? And a little baby take the day off, which I'm out of, and that's why I really, really wanted it. I'm out of mine, and I really like this, so I'm happy to have a little baby one of that. I did get another palette. I was going to order it from ColourPop, but I saw it on Ulta, and I figured I would get it. This is the Soul palette. It's the pretty orange. that I have the Mar already. And so I got the sole because it's got, again, those oranges and yellows and just the colors of summer that I'm really, really loving. Wow, this one in here looks kind of peachy yellow. It comes off totally peachy orange. That's really cool. These are so soft. Oh my goodness. I mean, what did I expect? Look at that copper color. I mean, really. Wow, look at that orange. That's fabulous. Yay, I'm so excited to have this. Uh, another free gift that I got, or did I buy this? I don't even know. But these are the Sweet Spot Coconut Lime On The Go Body Wipettes. They are pH balanced, glycerin, and alcohol free. Oh, okay, these are wipes for, you know, they're feminine wipes. And sometimes, you know, in the summertime, you just want to feel a little fresh. So I am glad that I have those. So I probably bought those. And then you also got a little sampler of stuff. These just look like foil packets and things like that. So I got 
the Smith & Colt Mattifying Primer, the IT Cosmetics Confidence in a Cleanser, the VDL Lumilayer. Um, oh, this is another primer, yay. Some more of the Touch and Soul Primer, no problem primer. And oh my goodness, I thought this was a perfume sample. This is MAC Prep and Prime. Look at the little baby bottle. I gotta try some on. Even the regular one smells good. So yay, so that's what I got. I know I got more. I'm missing things. Sorry about that. I... I don't know. But I had to go in store and just picked up a couple of things. I saw these. I did need another one. I was going to get it at CVS, but they had it on sale. It's the Chic Intuition. You know, though, it's a very bulky razor, but it has the shave gel on there. And I really use this one for underneath my arms because there's nothing worse than spraying shaving cream on your hand, trying to get it underneath your arm, then grab the razor, and then try to shave. I love this because you don't have to worry about it and you just shave. Maybe that's too information, much information for you guys, but I just thought I would share. And this one was coconut milk and almond oil, which just sounded heavenly to me. I don't know what possessed me, but I was at the counter. You know, when you're waiting online and they got that little kiosk of all those little freaking things and they had the little Kylie Cosmetics liquid lipsticks. I'm telling you, I wish everything came in a mini. Everything needs to come in a mini. And I think the set was $12.00. And I don't like buying things from Kylie Cosmetics, but it was in store. I've never, believed it or not, never tried her lipsticks. And what set is this in? This is called Candy K and Charmed Velvet. This is Candy K and this is Charmed Velvet. They, Velvet. they are very similar to each other. I'll let you know what I think. Then, I don't know, I needed yet another lip scrub. I go through lip scrubs a lot. This was $8. It's from Fizz and Bubble, and it's the Watermelon Lip Scrub. They had so many flavors that I wanted, but I only got one because I'm trying to be a good girl. Probably not. Oh, yay! Tastes like it, too. I am so tempted right now to put it on. But why would I want to do that and, and ruin, well, you, you know. That is yummy double yummy okay and then I had to didn't have to shop, do a little shopping at Nordstrom Rack they are usually priced a couple of dollars higher than TJ Maxx but everything that you get in store you can get online they have a much larger selection of really good priced items so because of that I went a little well, I didn't go a lot of nuts now they did have two of my lip injections. I think they were maybe $8 each, and they are both in like a boss. These are the colored ones, and I don't mind the colored ones as much because I don't wear just this. I put stuff on top of them. And this is a very bold purple, but again, it's very sheer. And it goes, you know, when you put your other lipsticks on, it goes away very, very quickly. You can barely even see it, but... These don't make my lips look huge, but I like the tingling, I like the feeling, and if I can get them at a good price, I'm going to do that, because normally they're about $22, which is a lot. Then I had to pick up, not had to, a Shiseido lipstick, which I have never owned one, and again, this was rather inexpensive. This is in the color BE301. Don't ask me what that means. I couldn't tell you, but I'm looking for a place to put this box down. The packaging is very luxe. It's very nice. And this is a very, very light color. It's very bomb-like. You can barely see it, but it actually looks like it's going to be beautiful. It feels wonderful. I don't think it has a smell. I said, I've never owned a Shiseido lipstick, and this is probably my only opportunity to do so, so I'm glad that I picked that up. I currently have quite a bit of Shiseido products on deep discount, because I would never pay full price for any of these. So they also had some blushes. I got the Luminizing Satin Face Color Blush, and this one is an RD103. I guess they don't name their blushes. Very pretty, simple black packaging. 
with the little Shiseido symbol down here. This does come with the little baby brush. None of us really use those, but it does have a nice mirror. Silky smooth. Silky smooth. I need to find a place to swatch this. Trying to... Okay, there it is. It looks like a beautiful color, and it's so soft to the touch and so smooth. I'm glad I picked that up. And again, they were like $10 and under. They have the original Born This Way uh, Natural Radiant Concealer. I can't believe they had this there at a really good discount. I think I paid 9 or $10 again. I got this in Light Nude. I'm running out of hands. I do like this one. I like the multi-use concealer also, but this one is great for me layering underneath some other concealers. It's very creamy. It goes on nicely and to get it for as cheap as I did, yes please. I love their packaging by the way. It's that NARS matte type of, I don't know, it, I can't describe it. Again, tactile person. Then Too Faced also, not Too Faced, but Nordstrom Rack also had the Too Faced sketch marker. Now I have some liquid liners open, so I'm not going to actually open this, but I do want to look at the packaging because I have not as of yet. Oh, how freaking cute. It looks like a marker. Look at the cap. The cap has a little acrylic heart on it. It actually, you know, I would freaking write with this because it's even got the cap like a marker. That's really cute. I've never tried it before, so I'm very curious to know, you know, how it's going to work. I'm very picky now about my liquid liners. By the way, I'm not wearing liner today because I did have my surgery and I am doing quite, quite well. It was excruciating as I knew it would be. I walked out of there in hysterics absolute just hysterics because it was absolutely horrendous horrendously painful and I was in pain all day yesterday and I woke up today and the only pain that I have is if I touch my eyeball too hard uh, it it is painful and I have some anti-inflammatory drops that I have to use but I can see thank goodness gracious and so I'm not wearing eyeliner because I don't want to take the chance of poking my eye or anything like that so no eyeliner no eyeliner for uh, a few days and the last thing I bought I did need a new brush my brushes because my of my hair they get destroyed rather quickly you know and how the bristles start to get crushed and things like that I've had the same brush for probably about five years and they had this brush from T3 now, T3, you know, is very expensive. They have expensive hair dryers and um, hot styling tools. And it looked good. It was It's a ceramic brush. It is, what is it made out of? It's very, um, very pinchy. I don't know how to describe it. Any hairdressers out there know what this is made of? It's plastic. It's not a bore bristle brush. But it is like see-through so I guess the heat would travel through and because it's ceramic maybe it gives good heat I won't be able to use it for quite some time one thing I can tell you I adore right now is this grippy it squeezes and these kind of move it gives you the perfect grip comfortable grip in your hand and this is large enough for my hair so I wish I could blow dry my hair now because I really want to try this brush. And I think the brush was normally about $40, and I believe I paid maybe $12 or $13. Not a bad deal. So I think that's it. Aside from the stuff that I know I'm forgetting that I can't find, but eventually I'll talk about them and I'll mention them that I got in this haul. But anyway, guys, I just want to thank you so much for hanging out with me. I love just talking makeup and swatching and, and just having fun and just sharing everything with you guys because you're all just so amazing. I don't think I've told you the last few videos how fabulous, stupendous, and just amazingly wonderful people you absolutely are. So in case no one's told you that today, I have. And whatever part of the world you are in on around, my friends, I hope you're having a fabulous day. I hope you have a much better weekend than I. <laughs> and I will see you extremely soon in my very next video. Much, much love, everybody. Bye.